Hey everyone, Flora Star here, and um, I am bringing you a new slash old series that has kind of gotten put off for a while, but I'm finally getting to it. Yay! Um, so this is going to be episode one of B University, the YouTube version. Um, there's already a version up on Twitch, but I wanted to make a more refined and less, well, full of copyrighted music version for YouTube. Um, so today is going to be episode one, your first steps. Now, um, these episodes, some are probably going to be longer than others. Um, I'm trying to split up everything a little evenly, but I'm not shooting for a specific time like I do in other episodes. So just a heads up. This might be really short. This might be really long. So anyways, so when foraging into the world of bees, your first step is always to make a scoop. So, as you can see, I have this lovely sheep right here. Hello, sheep. Who's gonna die for me? Because we need one piece of wool. There we go. One piece of wool. We're also gonna need some wood. So, I will knock on this tree right here. Get a piece of wood. Uh, I think we need two pieces of wood. Alright, and as you can see, I already have a crafting bench. So... When going into the world of bees, your first step, and I guess I didn't need two pieces of wood, whatever, is to make a scoop. And how you make a scoop is you put sticks in this little, uh, what would you call it, like a slingshot shape, piece of wool right in the middle, and you have yourselves a scoop. And what you do with the scoop is you need to find a beehive. I luckily have one right over here. And you simply left click on the beehive and it will break it and you will get your bees. Um, so let's see if we can find another one really quick. Alright, so that hive that I just broke, which looks like this, um, is a swamp hive. As you can see, we are in a swamp right now, so it's a swamp hive. It makes marshy bees. And when you break a hive, you will get a princess and a drone. Um, sometimes they might have weird colors, um, that's okay, just go with it. Um, and sometimes you'll get a valiant bee, which is a special kind of bee. Basically there's a random chance that it can drop from any hive, so hopefully we'll get one of those today and I can show you. So yes, so marshy bees, um, let me get rid of any eye. Marshy bees have... Um, basically, they're the same as meadows in terms of what they produce, but their flowers are the mushroom, which can be found in swamp biomes. And they have some other special um, things, but I will figure out how to put those on the side and you guys can all see them. So let's go find another hive, shall we? Alright, I found another hive. This was actually, you know, really close. Um, this is a meadows hive. When you break it, you get... Do we get? Wow, we actually got two princesses. That like never happens, but apparently it can. So if you are lucky enough, you will get two princesses. And this is what I'm talking about with the strange um, coloring. It's currently a bug, but you know if it says Meadows Princess, that's what it is. You don't have to bealize it to make sure that it's a Meadows Princess and not a Valiant. Um, this is the Valiant coloring. Basically, this basically tells you when it went through the code process of determining what comes out of the hive you kind of got halfway to having a valiant pop out but an actual valiant didn't pop out just the coloring so but two princesses yeah that like never happens hey Sangir, if you're watching it this uh work on that anyways um so yeah meadows are pretty basic um their flowers are well a flower either this rose or the yellow flower um, in your config settings, you can actually add the red power flower as a flower, if that's what you want to do. Um, they produce normal honeycombs, uh, live in normal biomes. Um, as you can see right now, I'm in an extreme hills biome. Um, meadows, bees can be found in anything kind of normal-ish. So, uh, hills, extreme hills, plains, uh, things like that. That's where they can be found. So, let's go find another hive. Alright, I found another hive. As you can see, it actually is night, because um, nighttime is the easiest time. Ooh, and you can spot another one over there. Nighttime is the easiest time to spot beehives because they glow. See, it's glowing. 
Um, so if you want to have a better chance of finding beehives that might be harder to find, like jungle beehives, which kind of blend into their surroundings, or wintry beehives like this one that kind of blend in with the snow, uh, just try searching at night. So this is a snow beehive, a wintry beehive. And basically it can be found with anywhere that has snow. So taiga or um, tundras or basically any frozen snowy biome. And if we break it, we get some wintry bees. We get a wintry princess and a wintry drone. Off to the next hive. Alright, as you can see, we're now in a jungle tree in um, a little jungle that I found. And this is a jungle beehive. Now jungle beehives are typically found way up in the jungle trees. Um, I've also heard that they can be found below, further down, but usually a little more hidden. Um, I usually just go up in a tree and find them that way, usually searching by night. And if we break this, we'll get some tropical princesses and tropical drones. Now the thing to note is you're going to want a pair of shears because these tropical bees like vines. They like vines and they like ferns, which I believe can also be sheared. And ferns are like the little uh, triangly grass things that you can find in jungles. And yeah, so off to the next hive. Alright, I found a little forest searching again at night. Oh, kept myself in creative mode. I was flying around. Um, and found a little forest with a forest hive. Now like the jungle hives, these will attach themselves to leaves. They will not be on the ground. So when you break a forest hive, you get forest bees. And these are very similar to meadows in that they like all they also like normal climates and they like normal flowers. So off to the next one. Alright, and the last overworld beehive, which is pretty easy to spot provided you can well find a desert, and I'm in creative mode again. Um, is a desert beehive. So this is what they look like. And if we break them, we'll get some modest bees, modest drone, and a modest princess. And they like the desert climate, so they will not work in, you know, normal forests and stuff unless you work on it for a while. And they like le cactus. So, uh, you're going to want to have that around. So, that's it for the overworld bees, but there's something a little special that I'm going to show you. Be right back. Alright, so through the power of NEI, I have an end portal. I wonder what we can find in the end. Alright, so as you can see we are now in the end and I'm gonna go in creative for this. And as you can see, there's this little purple beehive. Well this, and I'm on peaceful so I don't think that guy will attack me while I'm showing you this, but um, this is an end beehive. If we break it, we get ender bees. Now these are shiny because they're special and of course I'm falling. And I died. Well, apparently the uh, end does not save you from, you know, being peaceful does not save you from the ender dragon. Keep that in mind. But yeah, those end bees, they're purple. They're kind of shiny-ish. Um, I didn't get a chance to show you them properly because I was rudely interrupted by the ender dragon. But um, some couple things to note. They will hurt you. So uh, you're going to want to keep a safe distance if you ever put them in an apiary. Um, they will, they like cold, but the tolerances that you get from them, they will work in normal biomes. And their flower is the dragon egg. So, if you want them, you're gonna have to beat that dragon. Keep that in mind. Um, so, this has been a very, pretty basic beginning tutorial. Um, hopefully I will have cool little tooltips on the side when this gets published. And if not, well, I'll work on it. Um, I've never really done that in a video before, but I want to start trying. So, this has been episode one, your first steps, and I'll see you next time, and we'll get a little bit more into the study of bees. Bye now.